versatile school of photography transforming lives through photography so my name is Catherine Majani I own a travel and photography blog it's called Negesa Trails the reason I started this blog was actually from a push from friends I used to post photos on social media and people would ask questions where is this where is this you're traveling and that's how I started it but some of these photos weren't so I realized they weren't so catchy if I could uh, call it that way and uh, so I, st- I, I enrolled for a class to improve my photography skills to improve how I present the photos because before I used to just click and you know I see something I click I see something I click and it didn't really matter how the picture looked like uh, when I got my camera I I didn't really know what to to do with it because it was a very good camera and I was like I might underutilize this camera if I just sit and you know click because of just because I couldn't I didn't know what to do with the many buttons in the DSLR that I got so I enrolled for a class at Versatile School of Photography because what I wanted to do was make full use of this camera that I got and that's why I enrolled for the class and I can say I've really changed how I look at pictures and how I take pictures and I've really grown in my photography skills and I'm enjoying every bit of it. Actually when I started photography I really I didn't know that there were categories of photography and I'm amazed at the broad and the wide range of categories that we have and someone would ask me what kind of photography I do and I'm, I'm not really sure what to tell them so right now I can place myself as a travel photographer because that's what I do. I love travel and I love I love going to the outdoors. I love seeing things and that's where I placed myself as a travel. This is where I, I placed myself as a travel photographer. And it's, it's been an amazing journey because people have seen the world through my eyes, if I can say it that way. And uh, that's the main point of why I do travel photography. There are places that people don't know exist and even right here in Kenya that I go to, I discover, I, I go write about it and bring pictures and people are like, I can't imagine that this is Kenya. And that's the point of why I started all this. It's been, I can say, two years of doing this. I, I'm, I don't know if I should say I'm already a phot- professional photographer because I see so many photos from people and I'm like, my good, goodness, I wish I could get that, I wish I could do this. And every day is a learning experience. I try to get to YouTube, I try to ask uh, questions from other photographers and it's amazing the knowledge that people are willing to give. And I think I have come to realize that photographers are one of the best people to deal with. I inbox people who are top photographers, honestly, as in who I would think that I, I can't even approach. And it's amazing the feedback that I get. Uh, when I ask questions about my camera, I ask questions about the lenses they are using, about how they got a certain uh, effect on an image, and people are willing to give knowledge. And for me, this has been the best thing for me in, through my photography journey. And I believe as a travel photographer, I'm going to, to, to see more, to show more, and uh, bring out the best of this world through my travel. Wow, it's it's been great, it's been a journey and I can say I have I have met people, I've made networks, I've been to places because of maybe the photos I've seen, uh, something I've written about, I've built my relationships with uh, very many people, I've been able to actually get connections from both locally, both interna- uh, both locally and international. People inbox me asking they're coming to Kenya and which places would they visit. And for me, I think that's a plus that I am able to see to show people out there what Kenya has, and even to see to show Kenyans what outside has, ha, uh, what the outside world has at the point where I travel outside. And it's been an op- an eye opener for me. I've seen this world in a different way. Photography has really changed the way I, I look at things, the way I want to place things like in the photo, and it has opened my creative mind that I can say about that. I, I might now look at myself as an artist because the, the way I used to take photos before is not the same way I take photos now. 
how I place objects in my in my photo that I want to take. What do I need to capture? What else do I need to include in my photos? It changes the way you look at things. It changes the way you want to place and bring out information in your photo, such that if someone looks at my photo, I don't even have to say words. I don't even have to caption it. And they'll be able to see what I mean. And that's my intention when I take my photos, is that my photos will speak for themselves. My photos will tell a story for, for, it, for themselves. And I don't even have to write about it. And it will be clear for anyone what this photo says. And that's my aim. And so I can say photography has really opened my mind. It has made me creative. And it makes me have energy to do more, travel more, see this world more, and even, yeah, just do more about uh, my travel, my photography, and improve myself. Uh, maybe I might not say that photography took me to a place, but there are places I get, I get encouraged to go, or see, uh, places I want to go because of what I'm doing and the photos that I get out of it. I can give an example of, um, when I was climbing Kilimanjaro, I was above the clouds, literally above the clouds. And as much as I was freezing and as much as it was a tough climb, it was a, such an emotional experience for me. I had my camera, I had no strength. But what I saw up there when the sunrise came up was amazing. Despite my freezing and my hands could not move, I removed my camera from my bag and I just clicked away and the photos that came out of that were just amazing. And the thing, thing about photography or photos is that they take you back to places where you can't redo the, the visit, you can't go back to where you are, but it brings back emotions and um, um, what can I say, it brings back such energy, such, such memories that you will never experience such a, an event if you didn't have the photos as your memory. And for me, I, photography just makes the whole thing different. If I went to Kilimanjaro and didn't come back down with my photos and my camera, how would I ever tell the story of what I saw up there? Most of the times when, I, when I'm above the clouds, it's maybe when I'm on a plane or something. But this time I was literally above the clouds myself and I could see the sunrise, I could see what I saw there is only I who can describe and maybe my photos that can tell the story. And for me that's, that's an amazing experience that I can see. Uh, photography has really come a long way. I remember the, from a long time ago all we used to know was, you know, go to the studio at Tramogi and that was it. That was all the photography I, okay, I can say that I knew. Right now, there is so much in uh, photography. You hear someone saying commercial photography, travel photography, wildlife photography. Before you just see a picture and not think too much into it. And it's amazing that now I can even categorize what I do into a category. And before, it really didn't matter that I travel and I can call myself a travel photographer. That changes things. It, it even influences the decisions you make like in buying phones because you want to get a good photo out of your, your, your phone. I may not always have my camera around, but I'll have my, my phone anytime. So it, it influences even the things we do, how we, how we think about uh, purchasing things as in what will it get me out of it. And I think it's even changed how manufacturers manufacture such things. Because everyone is taking photos every time. Everyone wants to freeze a moment every time. Everyone wants to bring back a memory every time. And photography is what has brought us to where we are. Whereby you want to tell a story and you might want to tell it at a later date. And that's why you capture it on a, on a camera, on, a, on your phone. And that's where photography has come. It, it's not like before where I think we'd only go to a studio to have a photo. Right now, you'd, there's, there's outdoor photography where people are going to destination places to, you know, do shoots and such. It has really changed how people are thinking about uh, photography, even business-wise. People are making lots and lots of money. It's now a career. Before, if I would tell my mom I want to be a photographer, I don't think she would think it's something that would bring back 
yeah, you know, support me or give me money. Right now, people are literally living out of their photography skills and photography work. It has changed how we look at even things. People making money through, you know, uh, advertisements. Before, you wouldn't really care much how a photo looks on a, on a billboard. Right now, when you look at photography, as in, uh, you, would, you would look at a billboard in a different way where you'd start noticing small things. Does it, has it been done right? Does it really look right? It has changed the way people look at pictures, how people look at uh, images, and I think photography has come has come far, so far. And that's one thing I, uh, okay, maybe I forgot to add, is it's amazing how photography in itself is a skill that has been separated even from the normal uh, curriculum, normal um, subjects that we have. You could actually get out of, of secondary school and not go to university and enroll in a photography class. Get skills in a photography that will take you really far because if that's where your passion and your skill is, that's where it is. I can give an example of versatile phot photography school where I did my, my classes. Before I thought I would have my camera and just, you know, click away. But when you get to the class, it's amazing the things you can do with your camera that you, you didn't explore and the different ways you can evolve and even just um, change the way you look at phot photos and change the way you want to produce photos. It has changed also the way people want to, you know, take the, their skills to another level and that's why uh, photography schools have come up. Versatile school has, was an amazing one for me and it has grown what I am as a photographer, if I may say. It has improved my skills, and this is all I learned at uh, Versatile School. Many others have come up, and I think photography is going far, and that's why many schools have come up. My name is Catherine Majani, and this is Versatile Creative Hub. Versatile School of Photography, transforming lives through photography.